Hi, me from the future here. I am actually going to be combining two vlogs together, sort of. So I didn't record all that much on Friday. Uh, I was too busy trying to fix Thursday's video, which I didn't even finish fixing until today. Today is Saturday, for reference. I'm only one day in the future. Yeah, so soon. Um, so I'm going to be combining Friday's video with today's video parts that aren't dealing with packing. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Take your internet, now back to me in the past, where hopefully I'm not going... Yeah, bye! This is how Ithin feels. No, I'm not lying to the internet. What, you want to say good kitten internet? Well, you have to look at the camera to do it. What, now you're camera shy? You don't want to speak directly to the camera, you just want to look away and then murr. See? You just refuse to do that to the camera. Actors, am I right? That noise that you hear, that fan that's going in the background? Yeah, that's my laptop rendering the video. Um, rendering it on my laptop because that's where I started rendering it, and, well, I... Yeah, I didn't start rendering yesterday's video until I was only about ten minutes out from leaving work. So, I'm just now rendering the video for yesterday's vlog. I'm really far behind on that one. Uh, this may end up being a merge vlog between today and tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. I only have about a minute and 33 seconds. Well, I quieted it down. I bet it's probably done rendering. So I'm remembering why I switched away from open shot. Namely, the more items that you have in a video, the slower it gets. Exponentially. So having three items in a video is not that big of a deal. Adding the fourth one slows everything down tremendously. Adding the fifth one slows everything to a crawl. Adding a sixth one causes it to hang randomly when you're just moving around. And I have yet to go above eight. Yeah. Yeah, I've got nothing for this video today. I'm kind of tired. of worked a lot and sleepy. Bye! More kitty moment. Again, the moment I pull out the camera, he starts going after just the camera itself. So the other thing that I'm doing today is that this is my uh, my neighborhood's annual garage sale, and there are electronics that are listed for, in the garage sale listing. So I'm going to go try to find them, and maybe random other tchotchkes and so on. Sorry for the shaking. I was had the screen door hit my arm, and blocking the camera. I'm doing great this morning. How are you? Lock the door, and let us head out. Alright, decided to only go for half of the trip. First off, my haul. Got a USB 3 SATA adapter. Five bucks, has everything. You see, you're not allowed on the table. Silly kitty. Oh. Get down. Thank you. Anyway, it's complete in the box. It even has the instruction manual, not that I need it. It was five bucks. That's perfectly cromulent price. It's normally about twenty. Got what I was actually going out and about for. This is a tell set. Um, I will be having guests over at the end of May, and uh, my spare towels are kind of shredded right now. That's actually not cat related for once. It's just that they were really old and ratty and eventually fell apart. I also have 
this little container here. I'm pretty sure this is meant for fishing supplies, but this is actually great for board gaming supplies because it's relatively compact and has lots of compartments. And this was a dollar, so totally worth it. I've got this fan right here. It's a 120 millimeter fan. Nothing wrong with it. And also an iOmega zip drive. Uh, hmm, cord must still be behind my backpack. I know I have bought the cord with it. Open backpack. Yep, cord. One of the parallel port models, which is stupid slow, but you know what? I could use one of these, as I do occasionally run across zip disks and want to see what's in them. It, that and the fan were five bucks together, and I figured, eh, worse good and worse, I wasted five bucks. Luckily, I can do that. All right, now I'm going to rest for a bit, then continue my packing. Woo! Mmm. Random frozen meal so I can deplete food before I travel. Um. Actually, this tastes really good. Note to self-editor, this was actually fairly good. It's mirrored on the camera, isn't it? I don't know if I've actually mentioned too much about this, but I have a soda string. This has been the beverage thingy that has saved me the most money over the years. I've had it for, what, three years now? Two years? Something like that. Um, so I bought this soda stream off of somebody who wasn't using it because they decided they didn't like sparkling water for, what is it, 40 US dollars? Included two of these canisters, which were full at the time, which that alone, um, the refills are $15 each, so that's $30 worth. And this thing, it needed a 9-volt battery, which only displays the lights on the front. It doesn't actually do anything else. And that was it. Um, I drink a lot of water. And part of the problem for me is that I get heartburn when I drink non-carbonated water for some reason. I don't know why. Just a thing for me. So, I had been, originally I was drinking juice that wasn't very good for me. Sorry, doing this one-handed is annoying and noisy. There. Almost got it. There we go. Um, so, I had been drinking various things other than water for a while. I know that it wasn't healthy for me, and I kept trying to switch to water, mostly succeeding. But due to said stomach problems, I was always having problems with heartburn. Uh, turns out I have an acid condition that kind of causes that to happen. But anyway, this thing. So I go through about, um, average of about five liters of water a day. Four to five, I should say. It depends on how busy I am during the day. This is one liter worth. Darn it, need to turn off part. There we go. Um, so I go through about five liters of water a day. Um, these canisters are supposed to handle about 60 liters. In my experience, it's probably more like 50, because I carbonate things a little bit heavier. And that's $15 worth. So let's say it's 45 liters. That would mean that each liter is $3. That's, that's not right. Three liters are one dollar each, so it's 33 cents per liter. Uh, include the cost of water, which is effectively a rounding error, even though I have a nice filter. Noise. It does the lights I was talking about. And, well, I have a one liter bottle of sparkling water that cost me effectively 30 cents. This works out really well for me because I'm actually perfectly fine with having unflavored sparkling water. It's relatively healthy. Uh, it's water, basically. There's no real health difference between water and carbonated water. And I like the taste. So yeah, carbonated water works well for me. I know that these bottle things are stupid expensive given how cheap a 200 liter bottle is, or is it 500 liter? Whatever the restaurants actually use. This is almost as expensive as the restaurant rental thing. But this I can carry in my backpack, since I can just go to my grocery store to get refills. Whereas the giant things I could not. I would have to have delivered. So, not to mention giant things don't fit in there. 
larger capital expense. Anyway, it's going to really like seeing outside. Ooh, I have some tulips blooming. Yay, tulips.